A very warm welcome from Tattersalls Park Paddocks. I'm Kimberly from the Racing Post Bloodstock Desk and I'm delighted to be joined here by Simon Marsh, manager at Watership Down Stud, to discuss their stallion Too Darn Hot, standing at Darley's Dallam Hall Stud and Kelvin side. Simon, how are you? Very good, thank you very much in these very difficult and testing times. <laughs> Socially distancing, of course. Yeah. And so to start us off, Too Darn Hot, he looks fantastic in both European and Australian virtual stallion parades. Just touch on how he's taken to his new career at Stud. Well, I mean, it's kind of been the story of this horse's life. Everything he's done, he's just done so easily, easily and seamlessly. And um, he's done that in when he went to Dalham Hall and um, started his stallion career last year. Um, he took to it really, really well. He's a complete professional at his job and he was obviously stopping the mares very well, which is obviously what we wanted. Um, no, he's a, he's a, he's just a remarkable horse and going down to Australia, I've been speaking to uh, the team down there and he's just fitted in fantastically and he's acclimatized really well and, um, he seems to be stopping his mares down there and really getting through his book. European champion juvenile, Dewhurst winner and Timeform's highest rated three-year-old in 2019. We know he's caused excitement going to stud. Can you just tell us how he was received by breeders? And could you tell us a bit more about his first book of mares? Well, he's been received fantastically well, as you can imagine. And um, all the top breeders seem to have supported him. Um, including um, Denford Stud, uh, New England, James Wiggin, Newsels Park, Judmont, the Nyarkos family, uh, George Strawbridge, um, uh, John Gunter from America, um, Mion Valley, Lordship, Qatar Racing. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And um, it's been a, a wonderful book of mares that he's covered. Um, he's covered many um, dams of Group One winners. I mean, he's and Group One winners in themselves. He's he he he's covered Passage of Time. He's obviously a beautiful Judmont mare, uh, Dam of Time Test. Um, he's he's uh, covered uh, Volume, who's in fold to him, the Dam of um, Corte, who was a Grade One winning two-year-old. Um, um, he's 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 also um, covered Ganati for for Shadwell, and um, you know he's he's really really got a great chance from his his first book of mares he had 54 um of his mares that are in full are, are out of stakes winners um and 75 in full mares are stakes horses so you know hopefully he's got a proper proper chance all of the beautifully bred mares that we would expect to darn hot to receive so moving on into his second season can you tell us the type of mare that you think he would suit well, interestingly, I was out in the paddocks the other day and I was looking at um, Dare Me herself and her foal and her yearling and Lati Da and her uh, and, and Semi Da and her foal. And, you know, the one thing is really striking about the family is they all have a real look about them. And I hope and believe that um, Dar Tudan Hot himself will throw that i think you know he he is such a beautiful looking horse if he can put that into his folds i think they will be exceptional looking horses has watership down sent any mares to him at dalham hall stud yes we have um we've sent we bought two mares last year specifically to send to him um we bought a mare called frankel light who um comes from one of the nyarkos's best families um, in Dover last year and she safely enfolded him. And we also bought a mare called, a Shrocker mare called Gale Force, very attractive mare. Um, she's a half sister to um, Seal of Approval, who was a group one winner and from the family of Harzan, the Derby winner Harzan. So uh, as together with other mares, um, I think uh, we, we've got four mares enfolded to him and on the farm, um, Kiltynan and Warship Down. I think there are eight mares, so there's a few of our clients who support him as well. Some great support for Two Darn Hot. So, as a present, he's currently standing over at Darley's Kelvin Side Stud. How has he been received by Australian breeders, and what are the sort of mares that he's covered over there? I mean, I'm not a. I have to say, I'm not an aficionado on on Australian breeding, uh, but I, I believe, looking at his book, it is an exceptional book of mares. I. I believe he's um, covering um, seven Group One winners, um, and 
and I think the depth of the book is extraordinary. Um, nobody really knew how he would be received down there, but uh, with Night of Thunder doing so well down there and um, him not being there, I think the Australian breeders have really latched onto him. And one of the things to remember about this horse is that, you know, his pedigree is absolutely outstanding. His first three dams are all, he and his first, first and second dams are both group one winners. He's by Dubawi's a group one winner. Dubawi's dam's a group one winner. Singspiel's a group one winner. Singspiel's dam's a group one winner. Dore Mee's a group one winner. He has got every single credential to become a great stallion. Absolutely. It's just a, an outstanding page. What do you think makes him stand out in the Australian market? Um, again, I think that, you know, he was a great two-year-old and they do love two-year-old racing down there. Uh, he was remarkable. I mean, he won his maiden, a group three, a group two and a group one in nine weeks. Um, and he was a really, really brilliant two-year-old when he won the Dewhurst. It was an exceptional field. I mean, behind him were the Derby winner and the Commonwealth Cup winner. Um, so you had a sprinter behind him and a, and a Derby winner. He, you know, his, his two-year-old career was, was really, really, really good. And um, I think that the Australians obviously like a precocious, fast horse. And, and that's what he was. I can absolutely warrant that as I was present for his Dewhurst and it was absolutely intoxicating. Looking ahead to the next season, Dubawi continues to carve a flourishing dynasty with the likes of fellow Dali Salian Knight of Thunder with his recent successes. How much do you think this will influence the support that Tudan Hot receives moving into his second season? Yes, I, I, I think it will. I mean, Knight of Thunder's done very well. New Bay seems to be doing as well as well. And um, even Make, Make Believe's doing well. And he's, a, he's obviously by Macfee, who's by, by Dubawi. So that Dubawi Sarline seems to be doing really well. And um, this horse, Tudan Hot, was an exceptional racehorse with an exceptional pedigree, with exceptional looks. And he really does have all the credentials to make into a top class stallion. Um, uh, um, Bill Oppenheim has a, has a, has a book he does and um, he analyzes these things. And he is the only horse to have scored nine out of nine and seven out of seven in his way that he rates stallions. Um, and Bill would say that he's got as good a chance as any stallion to have ever gone to stud to make it into a top class stallion. An outstanding stallion prospect indeed. Well, we wish him every success going forward into his second season. Thank you very much, Simon. No problem. Thank you.